Hi there. Today we're in Proverbs 15. That's Proverbs 15. As usual, pause the video, have a read, and we'll talk. Uh, lots of great advice as always here. Lots of advice we've seen over the past few days uh, as we've got into Proverbs. Uh, even verse 1, a gentle answer turns away wrath but a harsh word stirs up anger. Uh, so easy, isn't it, in conversations to just to, to uh, ratchet up the tension and ratchet up the, the heat of the argument um, uh, and often quite hard to, to uh, calm it down. But a gentle answer turns away wrath uh, is, 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 great things to, is a great uh, piece of advice and piece of wisdom there, isn't it? Um, Again, from uh, last week, the eyes of the Lord are everywhere, keeping watch on the wicked and the good, verse 3. Um, uh, again, uh, a, great, um, uh, a great reminder that nothing escapes uh, God's sight. Uh, I did love verse 17. Uh, uh, better a meal of vegetables where there's love than a fattened calf with hatred. Uh, it sort of assumes that a meal with meat's going to be much better. Sorry, vegetarians. Um, but he's, but he's saying a meal, a meal with meat, even though meat's usually better than vegetables, um, that's, uh, that's a terrible meal uh, if there's hatred at the meal um, and a meal of vegetables is much better if there's love at the meal. And um, uh, yeah, so sorry to those who are vegetarians. It's, sort of, it's kind of assuming that everyone will prefer meat, uh, but, it's, but it's reminding us that whatever's at the meal, a meal with love uh, is far better than a meal, even if it's a feast, with hatred. Um, uh, uh, a reminder that uh, everything is open before the Lord. Uh, verse 11, death and destruction lie open before the Lord. How much more the hearts of men. Uh, that uh, Again, God, God knows our hearts and God knows what's in them. Uh, but today I want to think about this is this uh, uh, strange little title, How to Hate Yourself. And it's right down there at the end uh, in verse 32, uh, in verse 31. He who listens to a life-giving rebuke will be at home among the wise. He who ignores discipline despises himself, but whoever heeds correction gains understanding. I was struck by that line, he who ignores discipline despises himself, hates himself. Um, uh, self hatred. Um, uh, sometimes that's something that people kind of do suffer from, uh, and uh, there's sometimes there's uh, issues just in our emotional makeup and mental makeup which leave us prone to that, and that's an issue which um, often we, we will require help with. Uh, but we're not talking about that so much. We're talking about uh, someone who uh, probably has quite a high opinion of themselves, actually, who thinks I've got it all together. Uh, and so they ignore discipline. They ignore the self-discipline of uh, trying to make of, of, of their own lives, but also ignore it when others seek to, to discipline them or seek to rebuke them or correct them or, or train them in some way. And when they ignore that, what does the proverb say? What does God say? They despise themselves. They hate themselves. They're strong words again, aren't they? Uh, uh, but again, they make sense to us. Um, when someone is doing the wrong thing or getting us into trouble and they get some good advice or they get someone says, don't do that, and they ignore it, they end up hurting themselves. It's almost like they do hate themselves. It's almost like they don't care what happens to themselves. Uh, sometimes people are in such a state that that is true of the case. They don't care, and that's a terrible situation to be in, isn't it? Um, but again, there are others who are in that situation but who just think they know better who just think that they have got it all together, uh, who won't take advice, as we saw a couple of days ago, uh, who will ignore discipline. Uh, and we're told here that they hate themselves. And so this is a reminder to us again uh, to listen to the Lord's discipline. We've seen that if, uh, last week or two weeks ago now. Uh, to listen uh, to the advice of others, which we saw a few days ago. Uh, to listen to wisdom and listen to wisdom's call from last week. Um, because whoever heeds correction gains understanding. And if we do not want to gain understanding, if we, if we want to understand nothing about our world and about ourselves, then we don't care about ourselves, do we? We don't care what happens to us. And there's nothing worse than seeing someone 
who genuinely doesn't care what's happening to themselves, who does not care at all what happens to themselves or others. It's actually very sad, isn't it, to see someone who's in that situation. Um, uh, uh, now, we may have our lives all together. We may, we may have things, our lives might look very good. But if we ignore discipline, then we're actually in the same situation as those who sometimes we see around who don't care what people think of them at all and don't care what's happened to them. Uh, uh, we may drive a nice car, live in a great house, have everything going well. But if we, if we ignore discipline, if we ignore the law's discipline, and if, as we're growing up, we ignore the discipline of others or as we, as we ignore the rebuke and correction of others, then listen carefully to the word of the Lord here. We, we gain no understanding. We despise ourselves. We lack judgment, verse 11. Our plans fail, verse 12. Our house is torn down, verse 25. Sorry, that was verse 21 and verse 22. Sorry for the, uh, our lack of judgment. Sorry, that's uh, a misreading of a little number in my Bible, sorry. Verse 25, our house is torn down. Our thoughts are detestable to God, verse 26. We bring trouble on our family. Our mouth gushes evil. I'm just reading through some of those proverbs there. There's serious things going on there. Let's not be those who despise ourselves. Let's be those who are wise, who heed correction and gain understanding. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, please help us to, to heed correction. Thank you for the correction you give us in the scriptures. Thank you for uh, our brothers and sisters in Christ who, um, who seek to rebuke and correct and train us to uh, thank you for the way uh, we all can do that for one another as we read the scriptures together. But Father, please help us not to be though, like those who despise themselves, who do not care what happens to them by being those who ignore discipline and correction. Uh, help us to be wise uh, and to listen to it and to repent where we need to repent and to make amends where we need to make amends. And most of all, help us to come to you and trust in your son. In Jesus' name. Amen. I'll see you next week.